I was uh, happily delighted to, to see the outcome of uh, that long consultation to be in the form of such an impressive, uh, impressive building, an impressive idea, and very, very effective way of attracting the knowledge and the uh, uh, know-how uh, about the situation here, and actually even further afield. This is a global message emanating from Palestine. The beauty and the power of art and the power of music and the power of tourism all weaving in. Uh, Palestinian uh, art has been an integral part of our culture for generations and in fact it has been an integral part of our struggle for generations. But Palestinian art married to global art in such a, an, a, an effective, impactful way is an elevation of both Palestinian and universal art actually. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, so most hotels have a gym. This one has a museum. Um, it's 100 years this year uh, that we celebrate uh, Britain coming over here, uh, signing the Balfour Declaration uh, and making uh, an imperial mess of things. Um, and we've continued that tradition with people like Tony Blair up into the present. So it seemed appropriate for us to come back uh, and explain it. Uh, so there's a museum that's co-curated between myself and Banksy uh, with a big team of Israeli and Palestinian uh, supporters and advisors uh, working with us. Um, and the museum tells the story uh, of the war um, and explores its history and its context uh, from all kinds of angles, so its effect on uh, ordinary people who live here, but also its role uh, as a canvas for graffiti artists from around the world. So, to me, I'm happy to work here, but, uh, and it's just a good opportunity for me to work in, in a place like this. And uh, I hope everyone that gets this kind of opportunity to work in some places like this place.